Muslim. And if you are, he says that Allah is. He says, Muslim, Allah, but he says Allah, Allah is not the first and the last. Do you agree with him? No, listen, listen. <laughs> Every, everything begins by no, Allah. Now he's changing it. Yes. Everything starts by him. Tell him. Tell your brother. Everything starts by him. Takia. Da 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 da. I mean, throttling and causing someone to like feel like they've been attacked by demons and maybe commit suicide. Is that like a common um, thing? I haven't seen that. No. Yes. The police came and said, you need to take off your mask because you're scared, you'll be scaring young children. There's young children here. They refused to, so the police said, you're being removed. They removed them from the park. Yeah. Omega, Omega is, yeah. Is it? Is it? No, it's not. It's I am. Where? No, no, no. Where? Are you, no, no. Are you Arab? No, no. Are you a Hebrew speaker? No, no, no. That, I'll show you. No, it's not Arab. It's Hebrew. I'll show you. You can show me your copy paste. No. No, no, no. I am Yahweh is Hebrew. What's that? In the Bible, in Deuteronomy. Then look it up, because all you're doing is going on Skype. Look no, up God, the there, Hebrews 1 8. Bibles. Get yeah, done then, Hebrews 1 8. I said. Hebrew, I don't I mind what Bibles. you said. I refuted you. I said, read I said, the verse. And you said, said okay. And then you looked at the screen at your WhatsApp. Look six. Excellent. <laughs> See my guy. I just landed, not on the planet, in the park. I ain't even had a chance to say my prayers yet. And my guy. Is Larry like just just so faced it, just so Larry? So I'm praying for patience. I'm uh, Hebrews one eight. Okay, ask Muslims if they agree with him. That Allah is not the person. Do you? Excuse me. Are you a Muslim? Do you believe him when he says Allah is not the first and the last? It doesn't mean. So. Excuse me. No. Hey, 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 hey. I asked my did, man a question. Did, did the Quran Sorry, say, I'm not asking okay. him. Okay, okay, I'm okay. asking you. In the, in the Quran. Are you a Muslim? Allah is, is Allah. Are you a Muslim? And if you are, he says that Allah is. He's a Muslim, Allah but he says Allah, Allah is not the first and the last. Do you agree with him? No, listen, listen. Every, everything begins by no, Allah. Now he's changing Allah. it. No. Everything You're not a Muslim. Do you think Allah's real? Allah, every, there you go. Thank you. Thank Thank you. See, see this? End, you see that? Where's that? See that? Show me the verse. Show me the verse. Show me the verse. It's Arabic. I don't know. No, show me the verse. You see, he doesn't know. I told you, Hebrews 1.8. No, no, the verse. 57.3. Surah 57, Ayah 3. Thanks, honey. Anywho, the geese has just been refuted in Arabic, not by me, because all I can say is kun fire kun, and nothing happens. <laughs> so anyway, John, step up. How was your little time off of the Lunatic Asylum? Um, well, it was only a week. I, I came, um, sorry, last week. I used to a conversation with Ali Dawa and got a bit heated. He basically no said that way. four year olds are okay to have sex it's with. Like, it's not like you? I know, I know. Yeah, but he basically said four year olds are okay to have sex with, so that's a thing for another day. I'm going to go with nonce. What are you saying? Definitely nonce. Yeah. Okay. I even said he was. And for anyone who's not London, that is. Uh that is slang for paedophile, which means uh, somebody who loves children, but not in a nursery way, in a grown-up, sexy way. Oh, yeah, they what happens with them. the guys? Oh, yeah, with the, YTS? the police came and said, you need to take off your mask because you're scared, you'll be scaring young children. There's young children here. They refused to, so the police said, you're being removed. They removed them from the park. Yeah. For once in their life, the police did something good. You know why? I'm just gonna, I, I don't want to be a cynic, but that's how God made me. If you could see behind us, you can't, or behind uh, JC, there's um, a, a very commercially viable enterprise being set up to suck a children out of their parents' money. Um, and that will be live probably next week. So now the police all of a sudden are worried about kids being frightened because I've had full-blown shouting matches about paedophilia and turn around and there's a little girl there like with the dad and the dad's the one mouthing it. And that's, I'll, actually I'll drop the link to that in the description box. So, what I'm feeling is uh, irritated, but that's just me. What I'm thinking, this guy is a lovely guy. He's a lovely guy. He tries to come with it. He's nice. He is good. Come and tell me about uh, Mohammed or whatever. No, he don't want to chat Mohammed. No one really wants to chat Mohammed at the end of the day. What they want to chat is uh, misquoted, copy-pasted uh, bits of the Bible that they found in some Ahmad Didat like helpline yeah. pack that they might send around to your house. <laughs> Zakia. See Zakia, he does more for Christianity than a lot of Christians. Because when he starts explaining Islam, it becomes patently obvious that not only is he not a medical doctor, 
when he's talking about sperm and backbones, but also he knows nothing in the Bible. And then you get to see the Holy Spirit not on someone, basically. So now he's arguing with uh, Muslims, the uh, aggressive Muslim who doesn't think... You know why you don't think Allah's the first and the last? Because Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, and he's jealous. He's jealous. He's thinking, but my Allah's got to be better than that. Big Al ain't even coming to that party. That ain't. It. There is no imaginary guest list. So I don't know what to tell you people, except for that I ain't even said my prayers yet, and we're going to film this loan and do. Let's see. Let's see. By the meaning. By the meaning. Everything starts by Allah. And everything finishes by Allah. That's the meaning. When Allah said that, and you What does Allah say when he says, I am the first and the last, and you come along 1400 years later and every, go, nah, bruv. Every, every, yes. Everything starts by him. Tell him. Tell your brother. Everything starts by him. What's the Muslim word for it? Don't make me look it up. There is a Muslim word for it. Just like Mutan Misya, there is a there is a ticket. No, you have Misya. 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 I don't miss you. I'm saying it's M I S Y A R. Misya. I don't know. Some temporary Muta thing. But it's not this. Well, temporary ish. No, it's not. You know, in the Quran. It's not till death do us part. Allah has never said Allah. Christian. Okay. Who cares what Allah said? In the Bible it says Christian. No, no, no. You moved on. Listen. But no. I just give you an example. Listen. No. It says the Sarah. Yeah. But for you to understand this. No, no, no. This man what? said to me earlier. He, 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 he can't help it, man. He's on. This guy said that in the Bible. He said, Who called you Christian? I said, It's in the Bible. He said, It's the pagans called you that. The pagans ain't quoted very much in the Bible, except for going, ah, or whatever. Like, it was Christian. In, in the. In the New Testament. You, you are Nasara. In, no, well, it says for those who follow. No, no, also it says Isa, those who follow you. Yeah? It does. It says, it says I will make the, I will make those who follow Isa. Oh, he's getting on my lips. Believe that. Let me tell you. It says, and O oh, Isa, I will make those who follow you. No, 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 please listen to me first. I will make those who follow you superior until the day of judgment. And then I will sort out your discrepancies between you. And that Isa is supposed to be Jesus. So that would mean Christians, those who are Easterites. But if he was called Christ, because he is called the Messiah in the Quran, and they said they killed Messiah. But if, you, if Jesus come now and you say you are a Christian, he won't know what that is. Because he's the donut, you say. You say he's not all, he doesn't know stuff. Well, what is Christian? It's in the Bible. The Bible is Holy Spirit breathed. The word is in the Bible. Therefore, the Holy Spirit knows the words because he inspired three different verses at least to say the word. Uh, how, many, how many books do you mean? 66. Why? Because the Jewish people already sorted out 39. They said, yeah, it's all right, bro. That's good. Wait, 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 let me tell you. But are you letting me answer? The canon of the Jewish scripture, the Torah and the Psalms and the major prophets and the poetry and all of that stuff, that's 39 books. The worth, you'd have to ask the Jews with all due respect. I don't know. They think that the prophecy ended at a certain time and there was no more books. And then the, uh, Jesus and his followers came along. Who is Jesus? He is a descendant of David through his mother Mary. He is. Do you believe in Isa? So her name's not Miriam. Her name's Mary. She's not the sister of Aaron. Jesus is not Isa. Yeshua. Yeshua. Yeah. It's a shame Muhammad didn't listen better even though he was all ears. Yes. He heard the Eastern Syriac E show. Yes, he did. No, no, Yeshua is Aramaic. Please get your facts straight. Don't embarrass yourself on the camera. The Greek is Eosus and the Latin is Jesus. Oh, don't shake your head at me. I'm taking No way. Right, on the screen, on the screen, apart from the Mutley, it's going to be this guy getting refuted. Never changed the names. Listen to what I'm telling you. His mother called him with her mouth, Kay. Listen. Okay, you go. Yeah. Go yeah, some people call me Kai because of their accent. No. Yes. No. What do you mean? No, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you, bruv. Yahya yeah. is, is Johannes, is John. Depending on. Yes. Pietro, uh, Peter, Caiaphas is the same name. It shouldn't have to. But if you're in the olden days with no internet, how do you know? If someone's mum says, Yeshua. 
come home now. That's their name. He says Yeshua is Greek. Was Mary rocking some feta cheese? Yeshua is Aramaic. Yes, because it means Yahweh saves. Yahshua. Why the from the Irish people? They say Isa. Irish. I don't know, you have to ask an Irish person, did they have a drink first? Because that's haram. The Guinness, the Guinness is rocking over there. No problem. What's your question about Christianity? Do you have any questions about Christianity? Why you don't believe in Christianity? He don't believe that Jesus was descended from Mary and all of that stuff, but Maryam and Isa. Yeah, but that's a shame because Isa said in the Quran, blessed is the day I am born, blessed is the day I die, and blessed is the day I am raised to life again. And Allah said to Isa, Allah, you know Allah, said to Isa, I will cause you to die. And then Big Al forgot and whipped him up off the cross. And once he's landed up there to come back and kill pigs and smash crosses, who knows when he's going to die? That'll be end times. And then he's got to be resurrected again because Isa don't lie and Allah don't lie, but both of them said Isa's going to die. But maybe the goat ate that bit. We don't know. Yeah, but according to the Quran, blessed is the day I die and I'm raised again to life. And Allah says, I will cause you to die. But how's he going to be resurrected? He's going to come back in the end times. All the pigs are going to line up. Load of crosses, yes? Yeah? Smash, smash, bang, whatever. And then, maybe with some wings and that. And then he's going to, wait. From the, I don't know that crap bit. I'm talking about, listen, Isa said this in the Quran. So let's get serious for a minute. He said, blessed is the day I die. And blessed is the day I'm raised again to life. And Allah said, I will cause you to die, Isa. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. You're counterfeit Christ, isn't it? Well, you think Jesus, you think Allah was talking to some random in the supermarket? He goes, Yo, Isa, you got the same name as my boy over there who I'm always chatting about, like more than Mohammed, but I'm just going to chat to you now, John Smith. <laughs> Silly. Uh, to his disciples, to 500, to the multitudes, to the. Uh, uh, the Father, same way I will. And you know what? In Hebrews 1 8, you know what happens in Hebrews 1 8? Look at the look at the knockout punch. In Hebrews 1 8, the Father says to the Son, you, you got a phone, you got internet. He says to the Son, Your throne, O God, will endure forever. Your this heaven and this earth will pass away, but your words will by no means pass away. And I just want to double check with you. I know you no, no, no. No, I just want to ask him because there was some random who just told me that the name Yeshua is clearly Greek. And I was thinking, hmm, like I know you're not a, a Yeshua expert as it were, but the word Yah and Shua like put well, together. Is in the Hebrew and Yoshua as well, yeah. So we've got the confirmation, but I already do because Eosis. Oh, it's my man here. This, this linguistic academic has uh, vouchsafed to us as an Arab speaker that the word Yeshua <laughs> is in fact Greek. So, so feta cheese aside. With all due respect, was that with the J? I, uh, I have <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm being funny. Do you believe in a God you can kill? Do you, believe, do you believe in a God you can put upon a cross? So you can kill. Yeah, do you believe in a God you can kill? Can God die? Can God die? Yeah. Okay. He's Jewish. Do you believe? Yeah. Do you believe? Oh, actually, your books came from him. So no, 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 no. This guy wasn't even born yet. Where did your books come from? Not him. Jesus was in. You know what? What side was Jesus from? Judah. Judah. Okay. Did Jesus believe in? But Esau wasn't, was he? Jesus. Now let's talk about your one God. Satan. Satan can come and masquerade as anything he likes. Like uh, no, no, like an angel that doesn't. No, I'm a Christian. <laughs> You're so funny. But an angel. Does an angel ever come in the Old Testament and uh, start gripsing up people and, and doesn't announce himself? And, what do you mean gripsing up? I mean, yeah. throttling and causes someone to like feel like they've been attacked by demons and maybe commit suicide. Is that like a common um, I thing? I haven't seen that. No, and I think it's, I would say, sir, it's because it's not there. Because yeah. angels usually have got a message because they are like uh, messengers. Oh, um, what, there was one angel over Tom Sodom. Yeah, but he'd been sent to do that. He wasn't going around personally saying, hi, I'm an angel, a uh, little slap slap. And then, like, he did a whole one-time 
deal. And even with Sodom and Gomorrah, like there was negotiations. There was minions getting involved. There was how many good people can we find? The like Jew people, they believe that Isa is prophet or no? Isa is a prophet for the is Jews. Prophet or no? Isa, yeah. The counterfeit Jesus for Muslims. No, they have no other prophets. At the end of the Old Testament, I told you, 39 books. You said, why? I said, ask the Jews. It's not my business. But this is the guy you could have asked. And no, they don't. nobody except Muslims believes that Isa was even, some of them don't even think he's a real person. They don't want to burst your bubble. But uh, not much evidence at the moment. Well, people believe he didn't exist? Yeah, if you look on Fander Films with a P, silent P and then F-A-N-D-E-R, there's um, the Qibla, so the direction of prayer for Muslims changed. It went from Petra to Mecca, so that's the discrepancy. The coinage of the time also. Oh, you mean was, they, 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 someone came to Muhammad? Doesn't well, they say Muhammad. Doesn't I heard that last week. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. here. Yeah. I think. And if Muhammad doesn't exist, Isa's not a real thing because he's different to to Yeshua, like vastly different. Oh yeah, he doesn't die, so he's like some sort of weird Melchizedek just roaming around still. Like, uh, yeah. So anyway, how have you been, sir? I'm fine. You never me, sir. I wasn't like Well, I don't know your name. That's fine. <laughs> it's just, just manners. Yeah. Is Josh here? Yeah, he's here. Oh, uh, nice. Somewhere in the crowd. I will catch him. I always seem to get him in the middle of a festival of some description. <laughs> but yeah. All right, then. So you've got no. Fa okay. Ask me why you also believe in the Jesus on the side. Oh, huge. That's too big, even for me on a half a coffee. So anyway. Um, I don't know. I think it's a wrap up. I think that G I, no, I don't think it. I know that love is the answer. The only question love is not the answer to is what is the opposite of love? <laughs> and then it's not the answer. Other than that, anything you're going through, anything you're concerned about, anything you're happy about, love will only make these things better because when we have less than love in ourselves for our brethren and for the unbelievers, what we're doing is blocking ourselves off from the Holy Spirit because God does not want to dwell in a place of uh, wickedness and anything less than love because those are the two greatest commandments Jesus said. They cover a multitude of sins and they encompass the entirety of the old law and therefore love has to be paramount and love doesn't have to be like fluffy or Hallmark or Disney even though Disney's a bit dodgy. Like love can hurt, love can be uncomfortable, love can be like troubling but imagine this, God loved you whilst you were in the depths of your sin and you still might be there, even as a Christian. The point is he loved you enough to come down personally and die for you as if you were the only person who ever lived. So think on that because th the way that we have hurt him like, is a nothing to any little disagreements we may have between denominations, between friends, family. Christmas is coming and to be fair, like I love Christmas, but many, many family members in one space equals hijinks, <laughs> let's put it that way, potentially a little falling out. So just do it with love, in love. He who is last will be first. You know what I mean? You've got to serve to, we have to serve. Christ came to serve and we are following his example. So get the mince pies out. <laughs> Halloween's only just finished, but I don't care. Let's all get jolly and lovey happiness. Like let's do it people immediately. Also, today, is International Day of Prayer for the Persecuted Church, 2021, 7th of November, in case you're wondering. Australia's been at it for a good eight hours, but they ain't got, we, we, <laughs> there's a lot of us. So what I would love you to do, I'm gonna do another video, uh, once I can catch JC, once he runs away, I'm gonna do another video and with, there's a list. I may do a live stream tonight, but mm, the point is, there's a whole raft of testimonies of persecuted Christians doesn't have to be dismemberment and rape and being set on fire. It can be as much as, you know, being made to feel like a second class citizen, like a like a waste man, basically. So chuck up a prayer for Nigeria, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Korea, China, Chad, Niger, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, all these places. And I'll get back to you with some more practical stuff that you can do. And I love you all. And laters.